next to the Loxton 8 Tech Field Days. Scott, would you like to introduce yourself and uh, what you've got here today? Yep, so, yes, yeah, so I'm Scott. Um, I provide customer support for Ceres in, in Australia, and so we, we do um, imaging and also other um, data to help people see where their where their crops going like in season. So we'll do um, so we mostly for horticulture um, and also for other irrigated crops. We will provide um, uh, imagery and also integration with other other sensors, so people can um, sort of I guess probably useful to think of it as a mini audit. So you can you look at where your crops at and um, find areas that you can fix, and then you know then make it make some changes and then a month later you do another image and see what how it's fixed up and whether whether it's whether what you've done has worked so basically we provide um, a ther some thermal data we call it water stress uh, we provide some ndvi uh, we which uh, growth data which we call ndvi and chlorophyll um, and people look at those together and, and they get a really good picture for where their crops crops at and compare it with last year and and compare it how it's going in the season. Mm. So, lots of discussion on this today in the other tent. Um, but what's the entry level here? How does it? How does someone get started with this to help develop what they're doing on farm? So, I guess um, the first year we we image we very often find some issues. Um, so, it a matter of just looking at the image and and then someone like myself will come out and um, either over the phone or or in on your property and go through the image with you and help you to see things changes you could possibly make and, and we talk about different management options or whatever um, but then after a while you start to see the patterns in the imagery and you, you can make changes based on that so I mean probably in a nutshell it's like what were you expecting to see there and areas so you know you're gonna have good poor and good areas and worse areas in the in the paddock but in your in your property but using the imagery you can see if they're tracking where you expected and, and make changes and, and highlight and just find things find problems before they actually become a mm. Um, a loss of crop for that year. So People you've worked for previously, how has it helped them? Have you got some sort of real world examples you can give so, us? So typical things we find are um, water stress because uh, valves or irrigation infrastructure hasn't turned on properly. So you will, will very often see pressure problems um, before you can actually see it on in, in the image. You can, um, before you can see it in, in person, actually we pick up that there's the transpiration not quite working as well as it could. So that's, that's probably really typical. And then things like um, wind stress and, and buried dripper will we'll identify that um, and then if nutrition's not been quite right then you'll see slight differences in our, in our growth picture which, which people use to help them refine those things so um, the, the good thing about our product is it's really um, it's a relative uh, measure that we, we have an app where we load things in so uh, if, if there's lots of lots of differences in the paddock you'll see those but then once you start to get those out then you'll it, you'll pick up finer finer distinctions between um, differences so so the the better you get the more it'll show you so that's something that people find really useful excellent scott thanks so much no